story. The episode 7 of Adamas begins with Team A's leader Lee discovering that Wu Sin has accepted a position at Haesong and sending someone to visit his home. Referring back to the episode 6 conclusion, So Hyeon and Seo Hee find a strange person outside their apartment. She asks him what they should do. The repairman tells him that a leak in his unit has been reported by the apartment below him, and he even calls the landlord to back up his claim. Ms. O questions Wu Sin's motives for sneaking around at night the previous night at Haesaw. She asks him what he does going around alone, and he lies that he needed to take a taste of a restricted version cognac a few evenings ago. Even though it's not as bad as wanting to steal the Adamas, everyone is surprised. Su Hyeon incapacitates Wu Sin when he realizes that the repairman isn't who he seems to be at Wu Sin's place. Su Hyeon is unconvinced and continues to hit. Seo He asks So Hyeon about what would happen if they were wrong about him. Mr. Beck sees this and flees the building across the street to save him. Seo He inquires about the SIH's motives and whether they were using them as bait as soon as he reaches their apartment. Su Hyeon and Seo He have had enough and ask Hyuk Pil to stop trying to fool them and take them to headquarters after discovering the communication device among the repairman's belongings. Hyuk Pil does as Hyuk Pil is forced to. In the meantime, Leader Lee mentions how fortunate it is that SIH reached Su Hyeon first, they can now simply follow them to Su Hyeon's location. He arranges segment boss Yung to deal with the issue all alone and later arrives at a stunning understanding. At Haesong, Tae Sung is somewhat confounded to discover that Wu Sin explicitly requested that Mr. Kim let him know when Hai Su would show up, while she looks fairly dismal to be back. When she returns, she meets Wu Sin. The Adamas are at the jewelers instead of here. When Hai Su asks Wu Sin about his plans, he mentions that he needs to locate the arrow before it can be recrafted. Wu Sin appears to be aware of everything Hai Su wanted to tell him. He also tells her what happened with Ms. Oh that evening, and she will do anything for money. There is a secret passage and a huge explosion. Wu Sin is taken aback when Ms. Oh tells him that Ms. Yoon was the one who recommended him to the chairman in place of the money. When Hai Su learns of Wu Sin's comment, she chuckles and mentions that she was the one who recommended him. When Ms. Yoon receives a bouquet of flowers from her sister Sun, she appears absolutely shocked and terrified beyond belief. In the meantime, Sun appears to be an eccentric individual who, fearing that she would have to kill Wu Sin's previous action figure, inquires about its owner. Hai Su finally tells Wu Sin and us at Haesong about her relationship with Min Jo and the connection between Chong Wu and Min Jo's murder. In the end, Hai Su says that she and Wu Sin want to punish Chairman Quan the same way. Wu Sin says that he is not Min Jo and is not a replacement for him after she says that Min Jo died while investigating the mystery surrounding his father's death. Therefore, they are not pursuing the same objective, he is not seeking vengeance against JQ. Chairman Quan finds the fact that Leader Li informs JQ that Su Hyeon is investigating the 22-year-old murder case to be quite intriguing. He mentions that his investigation is irrelevant, all they need to do is get rid of the evidence and Seo He. Su Hyeon and Seo He are later taken to SIHHQ to talk about Team A. To Hyuk Pil's surprise, Su Hyeon and Seo He have found Leader Li, whom they had never seen before. Leader Li later goes to meet Sun, a strange woman. When leader Li tells her that she will never be able to kill Wu Sin, she seems rather obsessed with the idea of having to kill people. She is heartbroken and frighteningly angry. In the meantime, Hyuk Pil seems pleased to learn that Team A has been involved in almost every crime in some way, and Su Hyeon yells at him for letting Wu Sin into Haesong despite knowing it was dangerous for him. In the meantime, Wu Sin and Tae Sung talk about what Tae Sung found in Ms. Kwan's bedroom and try to figure out what ties Ms. Kwan to the chairman. Wu Sin speculates that it must be more like her protective instinct than simple obedience. 
Although Tae Sung does not accept this, he does direct him to Ms. Oh. Interestingly, Ms. Oh. Knows a lot about Ms. Kwan and JQ's relationship, which has been going on for years because the two of them practically grew up together. As the cash continues to get added, Ms. Goodness makes reference to that she considers the director his child since when the executive had a heart relocate, the giver was Ms. Kwan's child. The son of Ms. Kwan tried to hang himself from the tree in front of her window, but he died of brain damage and had his heart donated. For Wu Sin, who, for lack of a better word, cannot take this seriously, the revelation is a great deal. Nonetheless, he winds up pondering this recently discovered data and goes to Hai Su that evening, who at long last gathers two and two into a single unit. In order to convince her to become a daughter-in-law, her father must have made a deal with the chairman. As a result, her father was so insistent that she get married to Yun Zhou as soon as possible that he even mentioned doing the chairman a huge favor. When Wu Sin learns that the suicide was staged, Hai Su becomes extremely irate. Upon reflection, Hai Su recalls Yun Zhou mentioning that he was compelled to marry her on the night of her wedding, he would have ended up like Min Zhou otherwise. He went on to say that she wouldn't be able to stop it because their father had already killed him for not following orders. Hai Su appears to be getting ready to stab someone in the present. At SIH, Su Hyeon and Seo He try to make a daring escape, but Hyuk Pil catches them and lets them out and asks Seo He to go eat with him. They discuss their plan to kill Hyuk Pil first to set an example if Wang Byung Chul is elected to office. Given the state of affairs in the nation, his number is therefore limited. Ms. Lee and Hyuk Pil both successfully convince Su Hyeon and Seo He to support them by making compelling arguments for themselves. As Su Hyeon specifies that he really wants to monitor Chong Charm soon, the last option gets hopped on by a safety officer in jail. In a flashback, we see Pioneer Lee killing the twin's dad because of a straightforward misconception on Lee's part and Soon Ho being at a tough spot. Adama's Episode 7 Review Adama's is back again with another fairly exciting episode, and this time around, we get a few truly stunning disclosures. The show has a lot going on behind the scenes, from Min Jo to Ms. Kwan's son, that will keep viewers riveted to the screen. Even though we were aware that Min Jo did not just pass away in a helicopter crash, the various pieces of the puzzle coming together make officially learning about it a rather sad event. You feel sorry for Hai Su, who is just being used as a commodity by her father to gain an advantage. In the meantime, at some point, I also felt for Yun Zhou, who probably doesn't care about his own life enough to do what his father tells him to. In the meantime, Su Hyeon continues to be a destructive force, causing damage to objects and yelling at others when he does not get his way. It's fun to watch him throw tantrums and realize that he might have reacted too strongly. Wu Sin, on the other hand, appears to be the more thoughtful and calculated individual. Watching these two brothers get closer to the various suspects to give the audience a complete picture is a treat. The story's characters are all quite intriguing and mysterious, and I'm pretty sure there's more to them than meets the eye. But Adama's, has been a slow burning and delightfully twisty watch up until this point, and I am patiently waiting for additional revelations. In addition, Sun's character looks promising, so I can't wait to watch her. Adama's, is available on TVN and Disney Plus. Please let us know in the comments if you'd like more information, episode recaps, detailed reviews, or explanations of your favorite Korean or other country movies and shows. Thank you for viewing.